This this is fairly unlikely. What what's about to happen here? I'm, I I I could probably figure a way to turn that clock off, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's so hard. Who should I call? Who do you think? <laughs> who should I call? Whose I don't know who to call. Did you just write down, moron. I might have another phone number. Grossberg's phone number. Hey, they had to get some gameplay in do here. You, have you just to... clicked. You have the secretary's phone number. Well, you assume that like his, uh, yeah, his secretary will be there or something. I guess this is his, his business. I mean, because she's hot, and the lawyer's secretary. Oh, the secretary. It was a lechery joke. Oh. Hello. Hello. My name is Knight. I'm an American associate of Herr Grossberg's. Yes. I was just calling the people in Herr Grossberg's address book to notify them. Have you heard that Herr Grossberg has... Yes, I, I know about his death. Yes, I'm sorry. Would you mind giving me your name again so I can check you off the list? Uh, Knight. Ella Hoffman. I'm not finding you. Could you check under Vaughn? It's Vaughn Knight. Oh, so, yes, Vaughn. Von Eigner, von Frank, von Stein. You're not under Vaughn either. Excuse me, did you say Von Agner? Yes. Do you know Von Agner? I don't know him. I don't know most of Grossberg's business contacts. Grossberg knew him. If this is about money, you're out of luck. All the accounts are locked until someone comes in and takes over. Besides, there's nothing in them anyway. Really? Well, could you just look up an account balance for me? I can't. The address book is all I have. The police have taken her Grossberg's letters. Oh. Well, thank you. Goodbye. Would the police take Grossberg's ledgers? Like, do they think that he was not a random victim? Gabriel clearly thinks he was not a random victim. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, wolves don't plot, and they think it's a wolf, so... Yeah, they think it's an animal. Maybe they think that the owner of like, the animal, if it is a pet... Oh, yeah, like somebody sicked it on him von or Glauer. He lives in the Perlaco district. So if you if you look at that now you you can go to Van Von Glauer's. I'd better place. make sure Gracie keeps busy. Elsewhere. Hmm. You could really use Grace's help sometimes. For instance, if you need to be a horrible bitch to somebody. Yep. She's really good at that. Asshole, really? Shouldn't say bitch. Should just say asshole. Yeah. Is, it, is that like the gen gender neutral version of bitch? Probably. All right. So you're just chilling. In Schultergong Baron, Gabriel Knight is here. You can so tell Suzanne. how busy they are. Lassen Sie bitte in herein. Von Sell and Von Klauer are so busy, but they're just chilling on a weekday. I assume it's a weekday. The lawyer's at work. I think that maybe yeah, Harry is the only person who does what go to work. What a pleasure to see you so soon. Bring in Zeus bitte ein zweites Glas Wein. Hope I'm not taking advantage of your kind invitation. Well, my invitations are meant to be kept. Come, warm yourself. I see you have a smoking jacket. Yeah, I was just thinking that's kind of a red I smoking jacket. You like wine. <laughs> I got hooked on the grape when I lived in France. It's fine, Baron. Call me Friedrich. All right. Okay, Friedrich. Good. I like to have things settled. Really rolls off the back of the throat. You were going to tell me how you found the club. Indeed. And about your hunting in America. Yellow pages. Oh, there and must I be more interesting subjects. No How'd doubt. How did you find the club? A prostitute. You are a man who runs deep, I suspect. <laughs> Maybe. On my off days. I found nothing more stimulating than a new companion. That's kind of creepy. A fresh mind with treasures to reap. Are you a vampire? New thoughts like rare birds uncovered and examined, one by one. It is only when people know each other well that they run out of things to say. May we never be so cursed. Is this a date? It seems that way, doesn't it? Okay. Like, he's all loungy in his smoking jacket, and he's making vaguely homoerotic comments. 
but you considered that to be homoerotic. Well, maybe not vaguely. I find you stimulating. Yeah, that's a little bit. I mean, you must admit. Are you from Munich originally? It's a little no. forward. I was raised abroad. But both of my parents had deep Bavarian roots. Really? Where abroad? All over. France, England, South America, North America. South America. I well. love to travel. We know that a letter came from South America uh, inquiring about... So tell me about your family. The Von Glovers? We are not nearly as old a line as the Ritters, I'm afraid. Do you have a wife? Children? Good God. No. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like someone else I know. Confirmed okay, the day I've been long. picking up on certain similarities between us. Do you have relatives? How fair is the Ritter family tree? I'm the last. Mm. I too. I suppose all trees eventually stop bearing fruit. Well, Gabriel's not dead. He could have kids if he wanted. Sure. How'd you end up here? My circumstances were probably not much different than your own. I wanted to return oh. to the land of my ancestors, and so I did. Did your ancestor get his heart ripped out? Which reminds me, you were going to tell me how the Ritter family ended up in America. Took a boat. My grandfather. Yeah. He left the family and went to New Orleans. Hmm. But you chose to return to the family. Sort of. Why? <sighs> Food of if you want to know the truth, uh, I didn't have a hell of a lot of choice. Yes. I understand. Do you understand? There was an actual voodoo cult that owned the entire city of New Orleans. I don't think that your thing was the same. Tell me about the club. I'd prefer it if you formed your own opinions. To be perfectly frank, I could use a fresh perspective. That's one reason why I invited you to join us. Hmm. I think there should be more towel snapping. Hazing rituals. Mm. How about telling me about the other club members? Takes ah, my select few. You find them valuable friends once you get to know them. Did They're most of them come to the club through you? For the most part. Though occasionally, Faith throws one into my lap. Into his lap. All right. Wink, wink, nudge, yeah. nudge. It's a little, you know. He's plying him with wine. It's a little out there. I don't think he's interested, dude. Or maybe he is. Maybe he's, he's not curious. A dude. All of the men of the club are from wealthy it's German families, I gather. Tell. Yes. But it's not quite that simple. I am a believer in self determination. Each man at the club must also be personally accomplished and gifted. Really? Absolutely. For example, von Eigner owns one of Germany's biggest meat butchering plants and he runs an elite private brewery. It's true he inherited the business, but he's expanded it a great deal. A butchery? Huh. And the others? Price is recognized as one of best trial lawyers in Germany. He seems pleasant enough in person, but you would be surprised how vicious he can be in a courtroom. Hmm. And Henneman? Is with the government. He has a prominent position and uh, is an acknowledged contender for a higher office. Really? How high? There have been newspaper reports that predicted the highest. That would be convenient for his friends, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Such men are an asset to everyone who knows them. And Baron von Zell? Von Zell's family owned the majority of stock of one of Munich's oldest banks. In his own personal accomplishments? Gar was, um, is a quite promising young man. He was always top of his class, the best at anything he did. I keep picking up a past tense here. You haven't seen him at his best. 
Who's He's that? going through a rough spot lately, I'm afraid. Getting all bitey. <laughs> I don't mean to get off on a rant, but it's easy to succeed if you're already rich. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're personally accomplished. Getting oh. more rich when you're already rich is shooting fish in a barrel. That's a great mask. Mind if I take a look? Be my guest. I mean, I know that's a, sort of a Marxist point of view, but it's not wrong. Interesting. Is it African? No. Indian. I picked it up in Brazil. Why does hmm. it matter that he inherited an animal processing plant or a bank and then expanded it a little? You, you should be able to expand a bank. It's not difficult. What a load. There's something about the club I don't quite understand. Yes? I get the feeling you're not your average, ordinary hunting club. No? Well, that room in the basement, for instance. I gather you've been exploring. <laughs> well, the Maybe. door was open. It doesn't matter. You are right. Yes. The Kunglish Bayhusche Hopiak Loge is more than just a hunting club. We share a certain philosophical beliefs as well. Tell me more about these philosophical beliefs. I'm curious about these philosophical beliefs of yours. Can I talk in to enlighten me? Are you really interested? Yes. I'm glad. Do they involve pride? Prejudice, you perhaps? seem to be the sort of man who would appreciate our way of thinking. The men at the club and I, it is our desire to reconnect with our true physical nature. Go on. Think of it this way. Gay club? What makes men different from any other species on this planet? Civilization, of course. Oh, it's not a bad thing, human society. But it has come at a terrible price. First rule of gay club. Through is, civilization, uh, man has lost his physical self, his sensory power, his instinct, if you will. He became fat and lazy. Well, a yeah. A dulled, rusted blade. But we invented firearms. And those are my good days. <laughs> Picture a beast in the woods. It is alert. It smells. Yeah, they generally do smell. <laughs> it feels everything around it. It can tell where some other animal has passed days before, where food is to be found. It can sense danger. You put civilized man in the woods, and he's comparably deaf, dumb, and blind. I hear you, but uh, isn't some of that related to physical makeup? Our senses of smell and hearing aren't as sharp as those of wolves, for example. That's just it? Surely, men once had those abilities. As generations of city dwellers failed to use their most acute senses, genetically they started to fall away, the way limbs wither when not exercised. I believe we can hold this degeneration. And not only hold it, but recover that which was lost. It's an interesting concept. Do you have any proof that such powers are recoverable? Proof? I felt things myself. Keener hearing, sharper smells, but documentable proof? That is harder. Not really. To what extent we can recover these primal abilities? And what some of those abilities might prove to be? That is what we still struggle to find out. You're very convincing, Friedrich. There's no doubt that the potential is fascinating. It's pretty easy to test someone's hearing. Yep. They hmm. even, like, do that. Yeah. 
to see if you're going deaf. How does one go about trying to get back in touch with one's physical self? Get bit. Does it have something to do with hunting? You are bright. (laughs) That's part of it. Yes. Man is, or was, a predator. But unfortunately, he was too smart for his own good. He figured out how to raise his prey in pens. Hunting helps us get back in touch with our predator soul. Do you? Get back in touch with your predator soul? Some of us have been more successful at tapping into that than others. Is, is the phenomenon of mansplaining as common in gay fraternity? So how has this philosophy affected the men in the club? The men at the club are all excellent specimens who have used the philosophy to increase their success and power. So your woods becomes corporate headquarters, your prey the competition. Some of the technique can be applied, yes. When the senses are primed, one can pick up all sort of feedback that is normally lost in the haze. Speaking hypothetically, do you think it would be possible to take this philosophy too far? Funny that should occur to you so quickly. It hadn't occurred to me for the longest time. I hope not. The book mentioned lycanthropic disorder. Maybe someone is just sort of playing out that they're a werewolf. I think that jerky guy from the club earlier. Have you ever heard of the black wolf? I'm so sorry. I think perhaps he has. (laughs) Good cover, Punk Lauber. Gunther! Guten Sie das bitte reinigen. That's certainly suspicious, isn't it? Are you alright? Maybe a touch. Yeah. He even got him all wet. Danke. Mm-hmm. Well. Maybe you need to take those pants off so they can be washed. Perhaps ah. I could supply you with one of my smoking jackets. I feel so clumsy. Danke, Gunther. For his legs. Um, what was it you asked and again? And whatever pants he's wearing, too. Hmm. Black wolf. I asked if you'd ever heard of the black wolf. Of course, you did. I suppose you just startled me. Sure. These killings in the papers. They've really got me derailed. Any particular reason? People getting slaughtered. Children in broad daylight. Nature can seem cruel, but it is orderly. It does not waste or torture, not like this. And with the club, espousing what we do. Our philosophy does not support this kind of thing. I'm sure that's true. I apologize. It just, uh, I'm concerned that we are not put in the best of light under these circumstances to promote hunting when these atrocities in the papers You must understand, the nature I promote is not a murderer. When a healthy beast kills, it takes only what it needs to survive, and it does so respectfully. It is only the man who is capable of such a pointless slaughter. Man? Who said anything about a man? I'll be glad when this has passed. I'm sure the other men feel the same way. Yeah, that is curious. Why does he? Why did he say man? Also, like, does he think it's a person? They. The official story is it's a it's a, an animal, and hunting yeah. usually involves killing animals. Well, I hate so. to say it, but uh, I should go. It's been a rare pleasure. Yeah, <laughs> I've been kind of isolated over here myself. I'll see you at the club tonight, won't I? Oh, right. And perhaps you'd like to come over for a drink after that? 
It'll give her the chance to talk some more about the others. I'd like that. Thanks. Is this like that pickup artist shit that I've been hearing about? Shouldn't he be nagging him then? I don't know what that is. It's when you like disparage somebody so they feel like oh. desperate for you, I oh, guess. Oh, okay. I don't... Why is that? It's like negative? That stands for negative? Yeah. Okay. Like you, you give people, women, let's right. not fool ourselves, yeah, women. super backhanded compliments. There are no gay pickup artists? Uh, well, there no. might be, but it might not be the same tactics. Because like, it would be like, wow, you almost look hot in that. Oh, my God. Like, like horrible. Jesus. <laughs> Or like, dang, if you like straightened your hair, you'd be a total babe. Hey, Harry. Like personally I'd throw a drink in the face of anybody who I'd or just laugh. I'd probably just laugh. I guess that works with some people. I allegedly, but right. I just don't see it. You mentioned the possibility of my using your secretary for research. <laughs> Anytime. Great. It's unfortunate. I wouldn't word. ask, but I need a newspaper search done and my German sucks. <laughs> no problem. Uh, what I exactly noticed. are you looking for? Missing persons. Actually, missing persons cases that occurred in or near forested areas. Uh, how far back do you want to go? Ten years. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, I can spare her later in the day. Uh, we should have it ready for you by tomorrow. Great. Thanks. This is 1994. Do you realize how much work uh, that would I'm be? I'm off. See you, Harry. A lot. Yeah. He should go and help her out. She seemed to like him. Although maybe he's trying to decide which, a which way he wants to go. He's got good offers from both sides. Who says he has to choose? That's true. I suppose. You have to actually mail this stupid letter. Like, they don't have an outgoing mail thing at the mm -hmm. Huber household. I know that they're kind of out on the farm, but they do have the mail in Germany, don't they? Is that an American thing? I can't imagine the Germans wouldn't have mail, are Maybe they? they don't have, like, delivery out wherever. Huh. I don't know. Doesn't that seem inefficient? Uh, Maybe it would be inefficient, too. I mean, obviously it would be Maybe it's too it late in the day, and they come early. Here, Price is here. Good night. And you, Herr Price? This guy is the sleaziest son of a... I've <laughs> never seen a character this sleazy in anything. Look a little wet. Oh. <laughs> I was, uh, visiting a friend nearby and... I thought that I should take a shower before they was arrived. I was a bit mm, automatic. Mm -hmm. Well, anal will do that. <laughs> or what do they do in Germany? There's like Scheiser videos. Or oh something? God! Ugh. It's not like Americans don't have. Oh, I mean, we do. How, how did that become associated with Germany? Like pooping on us. <laughs> Is that a German thing? I don't think it is. I don't buy it. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not I up on the whole history of pornography in Germany or America, for that matter. Like, where did uh, Two Girls, One Cup originate? That was America, right? I am unable to assist you on this point. I almost puked within three seconds of watching that. Was? I don't think Siri would know. Although now I kind of want to know what she would say. Yes. Like, did they program that into her? Siri was made by bros, so. She was? Yeah, total programmers. Hmm. Baron von Glau mentioned that you're a lawyer. Yes. And fortunately for me these days, I have enough money to where I only have to take those cases which interest me. I enjoy my leisure time. What do you do with your uh, leisure time? Sit around, fancy chairs. I entertain. He porks women. <laughs> or, you know, whoever. 
uh, probably a dumb question, but what sort of entertaining do you do? Do you like Don't women at night? Well... I've been known to. I adore them. You might call it an obsession. The stark, the dance, the bait, the hook. And what do you do once you've uh, hooked him? Um, what do oh, you think? You know, you're quite the pleasure with yourself. Or have I misled you? Awkward. You're probably just getting a whiff of the past, Air Price. I guess Gabriel was a womanizer. What do you think of the club philosophy? It works, doesn't it? Um, does it? What does it do? We're all animals, but I deny it. So you don't believe in suppressing anything? Why would I want to suppress my urges? If your body wants something, it must be natural. Well, what if you get the natural urge to... Uh, Rip someone's throat out. Happens to me all the time. Well, fortunately, my instincts run to pleasure. I was the equally sticky but less fatal kind. Like today, this dude was terrible. Well, what about those me? whose instincts are fatal? Uh, shouldn't they suppress? I believe that nature handles that scenario when it occurs here at night. And how does it do that exactly? Well, in the wild, when. A member of society does not conform, he is hunted down and executed. End of mutant instinct. And its genetic bloodline. See, that's not really a good plan. Wait till they kill somebody and then kill them? Tell me about the other club members. Oh, is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about Von Zell. He's a bastard to everyone these days. PMS? <laughs> ah, women. I don't know what his problem you is. You know them. Oh, he's always been an arrogant bastard, competitive on the hunts, ambitious. But still, aren't we all? No. Uh, he was decent enough at one time. In fact, he was one Gloria's favorite. And he was an asset as a friend. But things change. Von Glauer is a dick, but this guy's hairier. When did Von Zell begin to change? Oh, he's been getting worse for a long time. I remember a hunting trip about um, a year ago. That was the last time I remember that we were all together and having a good time. He must have started getting difficult after that. A year ago, something changed. Seems like you've pretty much written Von Zell off yourself. Uh, any particular reason? Look, it's one thing when he insults the rest of us. But when he insults the Baron, nah. I heard him arguing once. When Glover told Von Zell he did acted stupidly about something or the other, Von Zell was furious. And what'd he say? He told the Baron that he was weak. Bastard. I don't know why. The Baron let him get away with it. I mean, I would have said something at the time, but, well, it was a private conversation. Uh-huh. Um, when was this? Oh, I don't know. Five, six weeks ago? Six weeks ago is when the wolves escaped. Hmm. How was Von Zell an asset as a friend? He is a banker. Are you saying he loaned you money? Uh, he's always willing to help out his good friends. Why would anyone in this club need money? I thought y'all were models of success. Yes, well, fortunately, I took less advantage of Von Zell's hospitality than some. Like who? Well, we saw the ledger. Eigner was into him more. And what about the other club members? Like who? Hanneman, for example. I've heard he's in line for a position extremely high up in the government. Hanneman, 
He is a drunk. <laughs> His days as a political superstar are over. <laughs> My friends at the courthouse tell me that he has been marked for early retirement. Mm -hmm. One less politician to worry about, huh? So Von Glauber was overstating how important Henry was. Have you ever heard of uh, the Black Wolf? Yes. Really, where? Oh, I don't know. Just sounds familiar. You think you've heard of the Black Wolf? Will you tell me if you remember? Of course. And how about what specifically you remember? Well, it is kind of a vague question. Yeah. Well, which black wolf do you mean? The black wolf. <laughs> Duh. Uh, the reinforcements have arrived. Now you'll have someone new to probe, Herr mm. Knight. No. My brilliant man, probe. good chair to you both. Where's the bear? Good night, my hand. Uh, your good evening. Good night. It's very hard to see Henneman or Von Agner being a werewolf. They're these sort of old, fat, uh, drunks. Abend. Abend. Certainly possible to see Von Sell, maybe Price. Meine kleine Familie. How are you all this evening? Hello. Gabriel, I'm glad you could join us. I need to speak with Zabana. Enjoy your evening, Herr Knight. Thanks. I will. Arguably, Herr Price was less creepy today than he was yesterday. Uh, right can we see Klingman yeah, see as being a werewolf? What is it, Price? Assuming that somebody from this club That's is me. the werewolf. He is new, and he did have something to do with the wolves. And he does spend a lot of time talking to Von Sell. We saw them talking when we came in earlier uh, the previous day. And now they're having a, another private conversation, which we will proceed to horn in on. Well, obviously. Hey, what's up? Yes, how night? Uh, uh, Yo. You, you guys like dick? <laughs> uh, you, you can say any of these, but the only one that uh, won't get you <laughs> really to grab a magazine then grab one you'll be seriously derided if you choose one of the other options how will Thanks. we eavesdrop on their conversation tell me it doesn't involve a clock it does not involve a clock oh good it involves something that I do not think that would work I do not think that you could slip a giant tape recorder inside a magazine, mm. <laughs> put That's that magazine thought. back next to the people and not have them realize, like, oh, wow. Hit the tape recorder inside the magazine. There's obviously a tape recorder in that magazine. Yeah, those weren't that small <laughs> back then. Jesus. Just wanted to put this magazine back. Did you really announce, like, everything you do? There's not a tape recorder in it. That's not suspicious it at all. It wasn't very good. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Stop talking. <laughs> Jesus, I would be like, what the fuck is up with that magazine at that point? <laughs> Jesus. There's nothing in it about gay love at all. Ich habe meinen abgesagt. Wir treffen uns hier um 4 Uhr. Ja, zu viel ich weiß. Ja, so, good evening, Herr Knight. Henneman, von Agner. You care to join us? Sure. Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah, good. I don't have any right now. Are you drunk? No. I've if spoken were, to several of the club members today, but I haven't had a chance to speak with you yet, Herr von Agner. How tragic. No one in this club talks better than I do. <laughs> oh, true. Very true. <laughs> wow. Perhaps tomorrow? I'd be delighted. What a card. Mm. I haven't had a chance to get to know you yet, Herr Hanneman. <laughs> well, I'm already beyond serious conversation tonight, <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> really? You just got Tomorrow's there. Fine. Yeah, I think he did some pre-drinking. Oh. Price said he was a drunk. Because it seems like he's had some practice. He might be a functional alcoholic. Oh, what were we all talking about when I came up? 
Tomorrow's little excursion. Will you be joining us? A monthly hunting trip. A hunt trip? Really? Where? Our lodge is at Eppenberg. It's in the Bavarian National Forest. We leave tomorrow afternoon. Well, God, you know, that sounds great, but uh, I need to have my gun cleaned and... Uh... Oh, there are plenty of guns at the lodge. Yeah, von Eigner, perhaps the Baron did not mean for Herr Knight to join us quite so soon. Oh, hell, why not? The Baron? Von Eigner? Our hunting trip tomorrow. Will our new American friend be going with us? Tonight? Well, I don't see why of he could... not. He's not a club member. He's probably not even registered with the license office. Nonsense, Gar. The sooner we get to see his technique, the better. But we'll just slip him in, and he can register properly when we get back. But that's not legal. Since when do you care about legalities? It's only a hunting license? I agree. I would enjoy Gabriel's presence very much. Well, I bet he would. Enough said. The Baron should certainly get whatever he wants, shouldn't he? Hmm. Darn tootin'. Well, he's a Baron. Perhaps it would be an interesting exercise at that. Interesting exercise? What the fuck does that mean? That's pretty much what everybody <laughs> thought. Everyone right then thought, what the fuck does that mean? Have you guys heard about the mutilation killing last night? <laughs> nice Up right around the corner. Awful. Simply awful. I had meant to get a newspaper, but the time got away from me. Do you have any details? A few. Uh, the victim was a man named Grossberg. He ran a furry business in town. Uh, horrible. You know, this zoo wolf <laughs> business is hate it when furriers die. The mayor has been spoken to, and quite seriously. Even the prime minister is concerned. Did you know Grossberg, Herr Von Eck? Uh, me? Grossberg? Why, no, no. Why, wow. why do you ask? So convincing. Well, I just thought uh, you're both in the animal processing business. Munich is a big city, Herr Knight. So it is. We don't all know each other. Uh, well, <laughs> I was just curious. <laughs> yeah. He is a close talker, isn't he? He yeah. yeah. Something going on there. Okay. I have been on. Gentlemen, you excuse me, please. If the club is in, wrapped up in this, it's hard to think that they all don't have some idea, right? Presumably. Bringing in animals from other countries. I apologize for not getting to you sooner. Have you been enjoying yourself? Oh, uh, it's been loads of fun. Good. Talk to that cute I'm glad you're going with us bar. tomorrow. We don't get started until the afternoon, so uh, we'll have to worry about staying up late tonight. I have to warn you, uh, my hunting's kind of rusty. I'm sure we'll do just fine. Was? <laughs> I demand to know what you're doing at this club. <sighs> Me? Baron Monzel. Really? Are you aware that this guest of yours has been asking intimate questions? <laughs> poking around in our personal affairs? He must be a reporter. Or the police. <laughs> what do we have to fear from a reporter or the police? Although I can promise you, her night is neither. You don't care that he's prying into our private business? What possible motive could he have? Gar. Maybe I want him in Please. my business. He's my guest. You're the one who's turning that into an inquisition. Then it is on your head! <laughs> so yelly. It's on his head? What is on his head? Uh, whatever misdeeds Gabriel is about to You defended me. Uh, I'm not exactly helping the harmony around here. Believe me, the harmony was shattered a long time before you came. Von Selgitz, uh, territorial. I'm tired of it, oh, frankly. It's one of those things. Well, I should go anyway. I wanted to clean up for tonight. All right. Slip into something a little more. Good night, everyone. Oh, good night, night. night. I should be home soon. He could do a lot worse hey, if he you know, wants to explore sure. that side. And hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'm not gonna work all over the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, be yeah.
think there's a dead animal there. Is it a kitty? I don't think it's a kitty. Oh, well, okay. It's a rabbit or something. Oh. Why are we in night vision? Oh, we're in wolf vision We're or in wolf vision. Yeah, that's, that's the wolf cam. Oh, okay. What's wrong with you? Well, I don't know. Just what is it. that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not that many hair. Uh... No. Not only a Which few. Which is weird, because you'd think he'd do some like twirling or something to flirt with the Baron. <laughs> I mean... You think he's flirting? Uh, no, but he could. It's so the... Talisman. Right. Got a talisman. If if the wolf that's stuck in Gabriel is a werewolf, he just saw something that kind of freaked him out a little bit. Looks like. Good thing werewolves don't know how to knock doors down. Can't they huff and puff and? Mm-hmm. 